today. Welcome to Stats. I'm Mark Depardo. Ladies, how are you? They were a little nervous, a little nervous before the show, so we put those little heaters in the couch, so they're warmer and they're feeling better now. They're excited because they've been on blind dates with two guys. Those two guys are over there. The ladies are over there. Let's find out what happened by getting away. Join us today, ladies. Otherwise, uh, we'd have a big gap right here. Let me introduce you right next to me, 23-year-old business student Christy Wells. Give Christy a hand. And uh, next to her, 21-year-old go-go dancer Gretchen Opitz. Welcome, Gretchen. And third lady on the couch, 24-year-old gymnastics coach Jennifer Peterson. Give Jennifer a hand. Jennifer. Did you ever date a male gymnast? Gosh, I haven't, but it would be a good person to date. Yeah? <laughs> great, great body. Why would that be? What kind of guys do you like? Good bodies. <laughs> as well as intelligence, um, good sense of humor. And a confidence. nice set of parallel bars. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're a go-go dancer, Gretchen. Yeah. No way. Best job in the world. <laughs> yeah? Why is it a good job? Just because we get paid to go to these clubs and dance and get free drinks and meet lots of men. <laughs> what kind of guy are you looking for? What are we, what are we doing I for I like a man who's self-confident, tall, handsome, dark, and who knows how to dress. He's got to be stylish. Like pasties and... Uh, the no. Whole... no. <laughs> I can make him spin opposite directions, too. Yeah, I can, too. <laughs> A lot faster than I can, I'll bet. Uh, Christy, how about you? Uh, you like, what kind of guys do you like? Spontaneous, honest. Honesty is important. Okay. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see how uh, the ladies did with the guys. Let's meet our two studs, Chris and Paul. Uh, Chris, good to see you. Paul, good to see you. Have a seat, guys. Right next to me, 24-year-old personal trainer, Chris Brunelli. Give him a big hand. To him, 22-year-old fire academy cadet, fire academy cadet Paul Say. Give him a big hand. <laughs> All right, guys, you know the rules. Whoever has the most of these at the end of the show is King Stud. We send you on a date. We pay for. Fair enough. Sure. Personal sure. trainer Chris. Yes. Uh, you train any big famous stars that we'd know? Not yet, but I plan on it. Okay. Well, I hope. You're pretty good on the phone when you talk to a girl. I, I'd like to think that I was. Everything went really smooth with all three of the all three of the women. Okay, well, let's find out if they thought it was smooth, because we asked them uh, what they thought of you, uh, just your telephone style, Chris, and uh, here's what they said. One lady said, he sounds as sweet and easygoing as the boy next door. Aww. That's kind of nice. Second lady said, this Clint Eastwood fantasy man really made my day. Yeah. And the third lady said, I've had more interesting conversations with my breakfast cereal. So, Aww. I'll say I've had more interesting conversations with my breakfast cereal would be uh, Christy. There you go. <laughs> what happened, Chris? He was just real, you know, shy and quiet on the phone. You know, we didn't really talk for very long. Did you try and drag stuff out of him? Um, we were just pretty much deciding where we we're going to meet and just, you know. Right. All right. Well, you get to go again there. Sounds as sweet and easygoing as the boy next door or the Clint Eastwood fantasy man really made my day. Um, he sounds as sweet and easygoing as the boy next door, I think, might be Jennifer. Yeah. There you go. Good job. I guess that would depend a lot on where you live. Well, yeah, I'm from the Midwest, and he's also from Ohio. Mm -hmm. And um, I can just get that sense of people in the Midwest are very, um, they're just, they're real. Uh-huh. Where in the Midwest are you from? I'm from Wisconsin. Sure. Yeah. America's dairy land. <laughs> but why buy the state if the milk is free? There you go. Um, <laughs> Now, you're, you're the fire academy, you're a cadet, that means you're yeah, training to be a fireman. Right, exactly. Okay. Pretty dangerous life. Women dig that kind of macho thing? Chicks dig firemen. Chicks dig firemen. <laughs> All right, Paul, we asked the ladies about your looks, and here's what they told us. One lady said his stomach's as smooth and hard as polished marble. <laughs> Second lady said that Olympic swimmer's body sure made a big splash with me. <laughs> and the third lady said he's got the hair of Steven Seagal and the nose of Toucan Sam. <laughs> Let's see, um, stomach smooth and hard as polished marble, I'd say, uh, Gretchen. Yes. There you go! <laughs> what was he wearing when he showed up? He was, had all kinds of layers on me, had like three different layers that I kept feeling through his shirt. He had a great Ooh. stomach, great body. So you didn't actually see his stomach, you felt it. I think I may have lifted up the shirt, too. 
Yeah. But how far into the date was this when she asked you to see her? Uh, toward the beginning. <laughs> what was she wearing, Paul? Um, she was wearing uh, a see-through shirt. <laughs> and, it looked, and it looked good, good, good. <laughs> and a look at Swimmer's body. Sure made a big splash with me, or he's got the hair of Steven Seagal and the nose of Toucan Sam. I'd say uh, the hair of Steven Seagal and the nose of Toucan Sam would be Christy. There you go! Yeah. yeah? You got something against guys with big noses? No, not at all. It's very European. I like it. It's, it's just kind of got a little twisted around there. That's all. Okay, but so it's a good, strong so thing. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very, it gives him character. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. What did you think when you first saw Christy, Paul? Um, I thought she was gorgeous. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> My type of girl, blonde hair, real tall. Very nice. If she was pushing a cereal, what would it be? Oh, I don't know. Um, they'd have to make up a new one. Maybe Barbie cereal or something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on back and we'll find out uh, what about our studs and what happened on a date. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Me too. I was just here yesterday to get my taxes done. Me too. I think I saw you. I was here about 5 o'clock. Me too. Yeah, and they called and said my super fast refund was ready. I'm here to pick up my check. Me too. I think Jackson Hewitt is super fast. Me too. Get your refund in a hurry. No waiting and no worry. That's Jackson Hewitt. Help me do it. Check Yellow Pages or call Directory Assistance for nearest location. The People's Choice for Selection. Roseville Auto Mall. The People's Choice for Incredible Value. Roseville Auto Mall. In the past year, over 16,000 people made the decision to buy at the Roseville Auto Mall. Their reasons varied, but the results were the same. 16,351 satisfied owners. Maybe I should have gotten a silver one, or maybe a blue one, or maybe even a convertible, or maybe a... Okay, make that 16,350 and one undecided. Shop for your next car or truck at the Roseville Auto Mall. The People's Choice. Well, last year, my husband dragged me and the kids to the All-American Pulling Series. It was a ball. We're going back. Have you ever been to one of these things? It's, it's incredible. These trucks fly. Incredible, the Ford. U.S. Hot Rod. Red Man. All-American Pulling Series. Wheels Tender. High Falls. Monster Trucks. The Cuban Bomb. Green Digger and more. Friday, kids as low as $8. That's right, $8. This Friday and Saturday. Arco Arena. Hello, Insider. Have I got a hot tip for you. Hello, Insider. Check out what they're spending our tax money on now. Only one man knows the truth. The Insider, Tom Marshall. With tips from friends like you, he's found something amiss in our halls of government. He'll find that fat cat just spending to spend. The budget is bulging. He's there with a pin. The Insider. The Insider. Nobody can catch you but you. Only on News 10 at 6. What do women notice first about the way you look? Uh, my hair. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, uh -huh. my hair. All right, we asked the ladies what their first impressions were of you. You know, because that's important on a blind yeah. date. And uh, here's what they told us. One lady said, his body's as cut as a flawless diamond. <laughs> Second lady said, that cherry tomato butt is ripe for picking. Yeah. And the third lady said, hey, everybody, I'm dating Cher. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody, I'm dating Cher probably was Christy. There you go. The Groucho Heart, a very esteemed heart around here. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's in a good way. He has such you know, long, brown, curly hair and, and gorgeous brown eyes. And it's uh. nice bone structure. You ever been to compare to Cher before? Never. Okay, no, all right. Uh, his body's as cute as a flawless diamond or that cherry tomato butt is ripe for the picking. That cherry tomato butt is ripe for the picking, I would think might be Jennifer. There you go. Very nice. What did you guys do? Um, we went up to Santa Monica. I told him I like blues, so we went to a blues bar. Harvell's. Oh, yes. Great place. Oh, dude, we had a good time. Uh huh. Um, but he was wearing he was wearing a pair of tight jeans, so it was noticeable. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> One of the things I noticed. What else did you notice about him? Could have um, been staring at his butt all night long. Sat on his hair. <laughs> so you were just this he's all very, day long. <laughs> well, he's, he's in good shape.
shaped teeth. They're both. That's what I asked for, and they're both. They're both in. Well, what about shape. the stuff in between? Um, and they're great personalities. Really easy to talk to. I mean, both of them. Obviously, we just met for a blind date, and we didn't have a second where we had something. Didn't have something to talk. Well, about. that's good. All right, that's good. Paul, when you're out with a woman for a first time. Uh, do you make sure, do you go out of your way to make sure she has a good time, or does she kind of fend for herself? What's... Yeah, usually, I spare no expense, uh, make sure everybody has, we have a good time. All right, well, we asked them about your dating style, how cool you were with women, and uh, here's what they told us. One of the ladies told us, nothing gets me hotter than a man with a big mushroom head. <laughs> Second lady said, he's a really good dancer for a guy with two left feet. <laughs> You got, the third lady said, you gotta love a guy with a stream running down his leg. <laughs> He's a really good dancer for two, a guy with two left feet, I'd say Gretchen. Oh! Obviously, he comes to you for the dancing quote. What did you say, Gretchen? <laughs> I said, you gotta love a guy with a stream running down his leg. <laughs> we were at the bar and the air conditioner was dripping on you. <laughs> we, were, we were sitting at a table and the air conditioner was dripping. There was like a vent up above us. Uh, why didn't you move? Well, I, we did. <laughs> it was dripping to my hair, though, not my leg. <laughs> what did what'd you do after the moving thing? At the bar? Tell we danced. Fine. She was a bad dancer. She was a pretty good dancer. She's a really good dancer. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Who said the two left feet thing? Who was that? Oh, Christy. What does that mean? Well, it was a great date. We just, um, after dinner, we, we went to this, uh, bar they were playing um country there's a country western band and well, no one can dance to country right. music and we, both, we both gave it a try we gave it our our best effort and you know it was fun but he's, you don't think he's a good dancer and well we both we we both really didn't know exactly how to start out and what to do uh gretchen what kind of music were you dancing with him too uh kind of like an r b soul type music. you like dancing to that better than country yeah definitely uh -huh. <laughs> i'm not good with the two steps <laughs> Yeah, it's very limiting. It's two yeah, steps. Two steps. I mean, what can you do? We can't work with it. <laughs> two steps, three chords, and a truck. That's it. That's country music. Chris, you're on a date. Right. You're, you're, you want to make that first romantic move. What's, what's going through your head the seconds before you do? First romantic move. Just as you're about. Whether or not I should do it or not. Uh-huh. I'm thinking whether she wants me to or not. It's a tough call. It, it's a really tough call. So how do you decide? Um, uh, you be gentle about it. Be nice about it. And hopefully pick up a vibe that they want you to do anything. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, well, we asked the ladies if you picked up any vibes, how your signals were working, Chris. And uh, here's what they told us. One lady said his lips landed on mine like snowflakes on a Christmas tree. Oh. The second lady said it was the perfect hug if you like squeezing laundry. Oh. And the third lady said, ooh, baby, those safe-cracking kisses broke my libido wide open. Yeah. I'd say, oh, baby, those safe cracking kisses broke my oh, libido. Oh, say it like you mean uh, okay. it, Chris. Oh, baby, those safe cracking kisses broke my libido wide open would be Jennifer. I mean, not Jennifer. Um, can I change that? <laughs> Gretchen. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what does he mean by that, Gretchen? Well, we went back to his apartment after we went out. We went out to a club, and things got a little steamy. Oh, really? I had to make him stop. Huh? I had to make him stop. Stop. <laughs> stop what? <laughs> stop, stop what we were doing, which was safe cracking kisses. Any go-go dancing actually in your house? Uh, no, but I was willing to start throwing out money. Sure. <laughs> His lips landed on my like snowflakes on a Christmas tree. It was the perfect hug if you like squeezing laundry. It was the perfect hug if you like squeezing laundry, I think would be Christy. There you go. What does squeezing laundry mean? It was just, he drove me back to my car after our date, and um, it was just a nice, like, Hollywood kind of kiss. I mean, hug. What's, the, what's a Hollywood hug? It just sort of, you know, nothing was really there. It was just sort of a, you know, Kind of an friendly, option on a future hug. Pat on the back kind of thing. <laughs> you know. All right. Paul, how do you, about you? How do you know when a woman's ready to get kissed? Oh, that's, like, the hardest part. I don't know. Um, I always, uh... I'm hesitant, but sometimes you can just tell if the vibes are there and you just, you know, work into it. I don't ask for a kiss, though. Ever. I just go for it. Just go for it. All right, all right, we asked the ladies about your romantic style, Paul, how different from Chris's and all that, and uh, here's what they told us. One lady said that cuddly hug was teddy bear tender. Aww. Second lady 
said it felt like he was juicing a grapefruit. <laughs> and the third lady said his kiss was an arrow, my passion was his target, and he was hitting the bullseye all night long. It felt like he was juicing a grapefruit. Um, I'd say Christy. No. Oh. What'd you say, Christy? I said that cuddly hug was teddy bear tender. Oh. So no real schmecking on that date either? No. No, but it was a really nice hug at the end. Uh-huh. Did you want it to be more romantic than that, Paul? Oh, yeah. I thought I, I did, but, I, you know, I, I don't want to push my luck. and So I just relax and see okay. what happens, you know? Who, who thought he was juicing a grapefruit? That was me. Jennifer! <laughs> no, it was, because I was, okay, he hugged me when I left, and I gave him a kiss on the cheek. I was really sick on the date. He, I, I didn't want to get him sick, so I didn't want to, like, kiss him. So I just gave him a kiss on the cheek, and he hugged me, and he's very strong. He got strong shoulders. So you felt like you were being juiced. Athlete. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> All right. His kiss was an arrow. My passion was a target, and he's hitting the bullseye all night long. Want to explain that there, Gretchen? Well, we went and played pool, and um, it kind of started out, he said, well, give me, I'll give you a kiss for good luck and all that. And it just kind of, I don't know, led from there. In <laughs> what way? <laughs> well, it was, it was kind of an excuse. I don't know. He would say, oh, I need a good luck kiss. Sure. Yeah. So this is just no, what we're playing pool. Yes. What happened after that? We went home. <laughs> yeah, no, he took me home. <laughs> He gave me a kiss at the door, and it was very nice. And... Well, was it a good luck kiss at the door, too? Oh, yeah. So where's I was the... working it. <laughs> where's, where's the arrow and the bullseye and all that stuff? Well, it was... He was hitting the right target. Oh. Oh. Okay, guys, we're gonna find out which one of these guys would write his number on the Somebody asked me, it was you who asked me, have I ever tasted it? And I went... I thought to myself, what a stupid question Jeannie asked me. Who in their right mind would just open a pack and put it in their hand and taste it? Equal has the great taste of NutraSweet and no saccharin. Did you ever just taste it straight? This morning I was sitting there and I thought, well, I could do that. And I thought I never have, but it didn't really make sense to me. And then I made everybody do it. It tastes good. Come here for a second. Come here for a second. You know what this is? This is a Whopper. Under a dollar. <laughs> Place. And then you can get that Whopper for 99 cents. This is. I'm doing 99 cents for a Whopper. Boom. Come in. Bing. French fries are hot. French fries is hot. Boom. Boom. Out. Mike know where to go to eat, yo. <laughs> Bam. Off the word. 99 cent Whopper. <laughs> we love this place. <laughs> With PMS, even little things set me off. I get bad headaches. And I feel bloated. But Premsen helps a lot. Premsen is, it's my weapon against PMS. Premsen PMS, for the period before your period. Arthritis, tendonitis, back pain. Cool it, heat it with Icy Hot. Icy to dull the pain, hot to relax it away. Fast acting Icy Hot, Icy and Hot Therapy for pain. Jim Morris, daring accountant. Lucy Delgado, daring florist. Lyle Wilson, daring gardener. Do people really live to be 100? The daring do. I'm Dr. Walter Bork. Join me, and I'll show you how to live longer and better, no matter what your age. Jackie Farmer, daring future governor. It's not a TV program. It's a health program for the rest of your life. Weekdays on News 10 at 5, brought to you by Just Help Yourself, available exclusively at Rayleigh's and Bel Air. According to these three particular ladies that you've been on blind dates with, who do you think they think is most likely to help with the housework, you or Paul? I would say, uh, I would think Paul would. He says it's Paul, ladies. Paul. There you go. <laughs> Why, Gretchen? Well, because he lives with his dad, and it just seems like he'd want to help out a little bit. Okay, that's good. Uh, Paul, who's most likely to have a picture of his mom on his nightstand, you or Chris? Um... I'd say that they're gonna say me. Okay, he says him, ladies. Chris. Oh. oh. Why, Christy? Um, because he's from you know Ohio, and his uh, he talks about his mom a lot. You know, she's a great cook, and I think uh, I think he would just have a picture of her. Do you? Yeah. Do I what? 
have a picture of it by your nightstand? Yes, I no, not by my nightstand. Oh. I have a picture of it. Well, that's good. All right. Oh, yeah. Chris, who's most likely to wear brown shoes with a black suit? <laughs> <laughs> I would think, uh, don't take this personally, Paul, but I think it would be Paul. Okay. <laughs> he says Paul. Ladies? Oh. You were doing so well there, too, Chris. Why, Jennifer? Um, because he's more like the Hollywood, like, jeans and, like, tough type. And Paul works for, like, a lot of clothing companies, very sharp clothing companies. So, so someone would stop him before he got out the door and yeah. straighten him out. Paul, who's going to write his number on a bathroom wall, you or Chris? Um, I'd have to say Chris would do that. Why is that? Uh, he's from Hollywood and... It's like the Hollywood thing to do, I guess. It's the Hollywood thing to do, ladies. Paul. Oh, Paul. Why, Jennifer? It wasn't really him personally, just that place. He likes the club atmosphere also on the club scene, and that's kind of like a me market. Uh, you've never done that, have you? Written your name on a wall? Never. No. Anybody? Uh, <laughs> I've written my area code, but that's as far as I'll go. Just <laughs> Chris, who's most likely to make love in a hammock? You or Paul? I would say, uh... I would say that I would be most likely to make it. Okay, he says it's him, ladies. Chris. There you go. Very nice. Why'd you pick Chris, Gretchen? Uh, he's very spontaneous, and I think if the moment came to him, he'd go with it. Uh-huh. You ever done that in a hammock? Uh, not in a hammock, no. <laughs> Glove compartment? No. <laughs> Paul, who's most likely to sleep in the nude, you or Chris? Um... I think you're going to say Chris. He <laughs> says Chris, ladies. Paul. Oh, Paul. Why, Christy? Um, well, because he has a really nice body, and I could just picture him just sleeping in the nude, uh -huh. sleepwalking in the nude. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, uh, what are you sleeping? The nude. <laughs> Come on back, and we'll find out who is the bigger stud. Don't go away. Hit a target. Range me. At a thousand yards. Beckett is the best. And disappear into the shadows. So Simon was supposed to be a piece of cake. But in this game, when you miss a target, you become one. It's a suicide mission. They're all suicide missions. Sniper, rated R. It starts Friday at a theater near you. Hey, I'm vain. Of course I'm vain. That's why I comb my hair the way I do. I stay in shape the way I do. That's why I use Power Stick. 50% more wetness and odor fighters per stroke. Power Stick by Fabergé. Power that won't let you down. I told you I was vain. Alka Seltzer Plus Nighttime. For relief without alcohol, hit the box, not the bottle. All pain relievers are not the same. Introducing aspirin-free Anison Maximum Strength Gel Caplets. Strong against stubborn headaches, easy to swallow, gentle on your stomach. New gel caplets, the newest form in pain relief of aspirin-free Anison. This is a place of rest or a place of torment when nighttime pain keeps you awake. Get help from a name you know. New aspirin-free Anison PM with a powerful pain reliever plus a gentle ingredient to help you sleep. So you wake up feeling fresh. It's out of the shoot and heading your way. The Wrangler Pro Rodeo Classic, February 5th, 6th, and 7th at Arco Arena. It's bucking, kicking, roaring action as the country's top PRCA Cowboys take on the toughest livestock. Get your tickets now, then come early for all the color and pageantry of professional rodeo and free party rides for the kids. The Wrangler Pro Rodeo Classic, February 5th through 7th at Arco Arena. It's America's wildest sports. Jeanette Polanco has cancer, but she doesn't look it. Josephine Barbano has cancer, but she doesn't look it. Jean Davis has cancer, but she doesn't look it. These women, undergoing radiation and chemotherapy, underwent something therapeutic for their self-esteem. Free sessions by Look Good, Feel Better professionals help them take oh, back pretty. their looks and take back their lives, because no woman with cancer should have to look it. For free information, call 1-800-395-LOOK or the American Cancer Society.
Chris has eight. Paul is very close behind with two. Uh, so we're going to start with you, Paul. You tell me who you want to go up again. She picks you. You could get lucky and go. Can I have all three? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, since that won't work out, um, let's see. I'd say um, Christy I didn't pick because um, we had a lot of fun together, and, um, and I think she's really attractive, but I uh, um, think it was kind of more friends kind of a thing. Okay. Sort of. And then I didn't pick um, Gretchen, but she's real high up on the list, too. <laughs> um, and uh, we had a great time together, and um, maybe I'd like to go out with her again. I don't know. And then I did pick Jennifer, because we just had a really good time together. All right. <laughs> did she pick you? What did I want? I think maybe uh, take, like, take a, one of those cruise boats down to, like, uh, down to Mexico and drink some pina coladas on the beach, do a little horseback riding. Sounds fun. All right, Chris, one heart away from the perfect stud heart. One heart. I thought you were going to do it, but uh, you're in control now. Um, first, I'd like to say all three women were great. I never had a better time. Good. It was great. It was great. Um, I didn't pick Christy because I, there was just seemed like there was something missing. You know what I mean? But it was great. We had a great time, and I loved the whole day. Okay. Like I said, it worked out fantastic. I didn't pick Jennifer because I'd, I'd rather... Jennifer is someone I'd, I'd love to be friends with and hang out with, and I think that can happen, too. I'd, I'd like to go out with her again. Okay. So I picked Gretchen. How come? Uh... Actually, there, there, there were so many reasons. This show's only a half hour long, so oh, uh, let's just uh, let's just say it. It, was, uh, it clicked. It clicked. Hey, That's when great. it clicks, it clicks. Well, if she clicked with you, where are you gonna go? Uh, like a runaway uh, weekend to Las Vegas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Christy, neither of the guys picked you, but uh, would you show us who you picked? you're trailing miserably with two hearts and you selected Jennifer. that's right if Jennifer picked you you could be off on a fabulous trip to wherever he said he was going what's it gonna be Jennifer Paul <laughs> could be off on a fabulous cruise it's all up to you Gretchen if you pick Chris you're gonna go on that fabulous trip if not they're going on their cruise what's it gonna be hello congratulations go give her a kiss there Chris everybody up good job Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Check it out. A promotional fee has been paid by the following. Joe Bond, white must for men. All the power, but not overpowering. Subtle, easygoing, unmistakably male. Joe Bond, white must for men. At last, nationally advertised nail products at an affordable price. Fancy Fingers press on nails in clear, colors, and French manicure. Quality made affordable by Lee Nails. Knows Better, the spray, with leaf without addictive drugs. And Knows Better, the gel that soothes with lanolin and aromatic vapors from Lee.